I think college administrators are right to believe in the critical importance of diversity, but diversity has to include diversity of belief. The product of a university is, is new thought, it's teaching people to think. So I, when I look at the state of debate and the free speech on college campuses, I find it chilling. At the University of Hawaii, where a student is in big trouble for handing out copies of the U.S. Constitution. Student protesters are forcing high-profile commencement speakers to cancel appearances this morning. All educated people should think of it as a duty to uh, seek out and hear out intelligent people with whom they disagree. When I passed in front of an administration building, an, administ an administrator came out and told me that since I had exited the free speech zone, I could face arrest and be kicked off campus. It can, as we noted, be hard to find a prominent speaker who doesn't offend someone. And it's reaching the, uh, the point where these purity tests are so strict that it's hard to imagine who will be allowed to speak on a campus in the future. Vanna schools may have to follow Long Island University from back in the day. Kermit the Frog addressed the class of 96. <laughs> right. Hey-ho, Kermit the Frog here. I was going to go out and just pass out constitutions, just give them to students who wanted them. As a student on campus, passing out anything whatsoever, you have to have permission. The first thing I did was say, hey, this is, don't you know what this is? This is the constitution. This says that I can do this. But you see story after story after story where kids were thrown out of school because they held an opinion. I don't know why we're re regressing in free speech. Cars, technology, cell phones, like everything says, and then free speech, we're pulling it back to the 40s. I was found guilty of racial harassment just for reading this book. At Dartmouth College, a fellow student ran over my free speech with his car. My university's police department demanded we either censor our free speech ball or face criminal charges. My school stopped me from handing out copies of the Constitution. Auburn censored my Ron Paul poster. I was threatened with suspension and expulsion from the university for uh, criticizing a professor. My college tried to investigate me because I publicly criticized other professors. I was persecuted by my college for uh, saying the word fuck in conversation. I was expelled from Syracuse University for comments that I posted on Facebook. What fire does is, in a sense, fire up these students on college campuses who are being punished for their own expressions. Working at FIRE as an intern this summer has been great. We sit there sometimes in between projects and we challenge each other's views, truly. When I go back to Penn, I will have this body of knowledge, this, the wealth of examples of cases that I've learned about through being a FIRE intern. Thank you, FIRE, for giving me the tools to go back to my school and teach other students about First Amendment rights. Because of fire, I was able to challenge my school speech codes in court. Hours after the fire took the case public, uh, Syracuse University backed down. Thank you, fire, for giving us the resources and the ability to fight for free speech on our campuses. Thanks to fire, I've been given the resources to sue my school and challenge its unconstitutional speech code. If it wasn't for fire, I wouldn't have a career. Um, I would be. You know, delivering pizzas instead of saving lives. It's important to let institutions know that you expect them to honor and respect our Constitution, and that includes freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom of association. These are important values and principles. It's part of what America is about. Every time I hear another absurd story, I go, oh no. But ultimately, I am optimistic. I think that the eternal devotion of universities to academic freedom, free thought, and fairness 
is going to ultimately trump and the modern PC university is going to bite the dust.